Wits, move your elbow. You're gonna make me drop this slide. Oh, I'm trying to measure these. Can you measure them somewhere else? Why don't you move? I'm using the microscope. So how should we tell them? What do you mean? Do you want it? Or should I? And the memory certainly deteriorated after being out for so long. We're not going to tell them, are you kidding me? They've been cryogenically frozen for years. You can't just shake someone awake from that and say hi. You stole the only escape pod off of your ship and everyone else died. Now they have a right to know. They're going to have questions and oh, we can't lie to them. Why not? The one you want to know the truth? Uh, fine. But before we wander down the whole ethics thoroughfare, let's just make sure they're going to live at all. We can worry about ruining their day later. We should tell them when they wake up. We're not going to tell them. We don't even know what the name is. They could be a terrible person. Maybe they deserve to know. Hey, they're moving. Hi. Hi, can you hear me? Whoa, don't move, don't move. Don't worry, you're not blind. You just have bandages on your eyes. You're regaining consciousness at a slow pace, and we don't want to overwhelm your brain with sensory information. Plus, I'm guessing you have a pretty rough headache, so light is something you need to avoid. You're safe. You're in the lab. We're just trying to help you. What's your name? Don't remember. What is the last thing you do remember? Nothing. It's okay. Like like I said, it's going to take you a bit to feel like you're back in order. We found you floating in space. But we don't know why. You were frozen in a pod. For a few years, at least. But uh, we're not completely sure. Your pod uh, has old technology. And our systems can't read much of the data. Just lay down and try to relax. You're very weak. Yeah, you're... You're fastened to the bed for now. We don't know anything about you, so... We have to be careful. You understand? Plus, we can't have you just running around the ship. Uh... We're not exactly supposed to have you. We saw you floating in space and asked if we could pick you up, and they said no, but we did anyways, so we're hiding you in the lab. You'll be safe, though. They never come down here. We're technically prisoners. Our ship was disintegrated, and uh, they picked us up because they thought we would be useful, but now they won't let us leave. So, hmm, prisoners. It's a pirate ship run by Carrado. Oh, he's the worst. He's terrible. He was a low-ranking officer fighting on the front lines. But his ship got separated from the rest of the fleet. Uh, we still don't know. Something very big exploded and caused a chain reaction that made layers form in space. Uh, like pastry dough. The ship went right through and left them out in the middle of nowhere. They were lost in space, essentially. And mysteriously, all the higher-ranking officers began dying until Corrado was at the top, and now he's living out this fantasy of being the dictator in this tiny kingdom. But the whole ship is falling apart. They keep finding new pieces and attaching them like patchwork. That's why they wanted us. They make us fix things. To be honest, we spend most of our time down here pretending to work, but ah, we don't have the equipment we need to make anything of value. But we don't want them to kill us either. They're not going to find you, I promise. We checked the pot as soon as we got you out of it. They have no idea we scooped you up, and we're always grabbing junk that floats by anyways. Not calling you junk, I just... They land occasionally. But they don't let any of us get off the ship. Uh, but there really is something we should tell you. That your feet are going to feel numb for a while, but give it a few days and the tingling will be gone. What? 
that you heard us talking? So you weren't asleep. Oh. Oh. We don't know much. All we can say for sure is that your chip's systems were failing, and you took the only functioning escape pod and left. The rest of the video is corrupted, and we don't have the old technology to repair it, but uh, we don't know, because where we are in time is relative, but we know you were in the pod for around 12 years. It, it was hard to see because of the distortion in the file, but it looked like a few people were trying to stop you from escaping, so... Look, we don't know you. We don't know where you came from or what you've been through, but we just want to get you stable right now, so try to get some sleep. I don't know. I don't know why you would do that. Maybe you were scared and you panicked. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna go find some food. Do you want anything, Kat? Uh, no, I'm not hungry. Oh, I just, I think you should leave the bandages on your eyes. Because you're being exposed to, to light your eyes haven't seen for over a decade. You could get a migraine. Are you sure? Okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll take them off. You're not a, a prisoner here. I know, just hold still. Don't worry, we're not weird looking aliens or anything. There you go. Hi. Are you okay? I, I know. I didn't want to tell you, but I guess you heard, so. I think that people can grow even after they make mistakes. That's what I think. You can't even remember your own name. I, I wouldn't stress too much about it right now. Maybe you had a reason? Here, here, let me get this blanket over you. I know it's freezing down here and it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is a lot, I know, and you've got all these signals running around your brain that you haven't had to process for a long time. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. Here, um, we can take these off. I mean, it's not like you have anywhere you can go. gonna be okay. All right, we're, we're gonna get you off this ship. We have a plan. <laughs> 